Oh yeah, heading over to the launch. Got a little uh, night run to make here. It is about 4.50 right now. Actually, 4.52, you can see it right there. But uh, you know, Smith Mountain's pretty well lit. I can see the, the buoys kind of blinking in the, the background there and I got my, my Navionics here. So, you know, it's a, bar, barring any sea debris that could be out there, any, any uh, lake debris, sea debris. <laughs> You know, but uh, got the lights on, running over there. It's not a full moon. That's a good thing. <laughs> I guarantee it. Shoot, a full moon, man. That might have made this thing hard, especially with the the these fish feeding up. 68 degrees right now. We're in 89 feet of water. I think we're safe. Oh, famous last word. Shouldn't have said that. All right, guys, out here with uh, Patrick, my co-angler for the day. About to get started on the uh, BFL Smith Mountain. One month of June. Yeah, we're still in June. Yeah, we're still in June. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right I just, I just, just, yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have a good day uh, out there. Patrick uh, said he watches my YouTube channel. Who's your, who's your favorite YouTuber? Basky. <laughs> Who, who's your favorite YouTuber? Basky. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. So he's a big Basky fan. <laughs> I know Hank will appreciate that. There you go. That one's for you, Hank. But uh, all right, let's get out there, have some fun, and catch some fish. Save that again. All right, guys. 136 feet. If you can't catch them here, you just can't catch them. Go and fire that square bill out there, man. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching this video series thus far on smith mountain lake uh, the bfl that i attended there i practiced really hard for this series uh, this tournament and i was really happy with the outcome what ended up happening was i missed some fish during this event and i missed and lost uh, two fish that i had hooked up one fish that i had a possibility at and you know that would have given me a limit an actual pretty solid limit uh, to where i would have placed uh, very well and, and you got to take these small wins in this sport. These are these are real small wins. You realize that, you know, you adapted on the fly. You made good decisions, and things did work out. Now, I went to a brand new body of water. I caught fish. I established a pattern, and then, like I said, I adjusted when I needed to. And that was something key because if you don't adjust in this game, if you stick your head down and just do the one thing that you thought was working you're not gonna be able to fish the moment at times. So I came away with my head held high during this event and knowing that, you know, I put myself in the right situations. I did the right things. I made the right choices. Certain things just didn't go my way and I just didn't fish clean. And you hear that all the time. You gotta fish clean and you gotta land those opportunities because sometimes you may only have five. Stay down, stay down. Oh! Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Did you break the line? Huh? Did you break it off? No, he just... He hit it and... Well, that was interesting. All right. First cast. There. Don't think I'll be using that one. Again. Which one was that? Oh, that was my number two. I like number two. Man, he just kept coming up. I tried to keep him down. He just up and spit. Mm, got him. Oh, hook too. Coming up. Ready? Yes. Thank you. He hit out pretty deep, man. Dang, that could have been two. Should have been a little. Yep. Yay! Got some fresh, clean water in there for you, feller. 
job on that net, man. Appreciate it. Just got to run enough of them, man. That's what it's going to be. Come on, give me that David Dudley power of the magic stick. Come on, David Dudley, she. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, he came running up at it and I dropped it down and he saw me. Jeez, that was a keeper. <laughs> Suck. Oh, give me a net. Give me a net. Ready? Come on. Oh, no. He's not ready. Woo! <clears throat> Jeez, that was bigger than I thought it was. Whoa. I need to put you on the board. <laughs> Can get another one. Get some more to go along with it. Interesting. You know that's two. Uh, good job on the net, by the way. Thank you. Um, that's two that were docks on point. My shit got. Oh, there's another one after that. Throw that wacky. You got that wacky out or still? There, there you go. Well, guys, that, uh, that concludes the BFL on Smith Mountain. Um, not quite sure where I finished at right now, but uh, Alan, man, thanks for coming over and, and saying hi. That was really cool. Kind of made my day especially after you know having a having a tough day out there but it was a day that i think was really tough on everyone um you know there's always people who catch you know i i definitely had had my chance to get at least four fish in the bag you know i had one follower i don't really count that guy I just kind of was reeling up but you know the just just how it goes uh i i thought i had a pretty good pattern and i still think it was you know it just like i said i think uh we'll, we'll bring up the the scores right here i don't know what it's going to be so you know we'll we'll see how we end up overall definitely not in last place definitely not in first place uh just you know middle middle of the road uh, somebody actually said on uh one of my things the other day as a comment they're like well you know tournaments need donators and you know what you're not going to get you're not going to get better if you just fish that same water all the time you know this is crystal clear water probably at least 10 feet of visibility it's, it's definitely not the potomac not what you always fish and i enjoy that challenge i enjoy going to new places and, and filming and meeting new people you know again you know met somebody who came up to me and said hi uh you know that is awesome that's why i do this and it's why i have fun doing this so you know guys uh you know get out there do do a bfl you know jump in as a co-angler hopefully you don't draw me but uh, you know get it get out there you know i tried my best today to put my uh co-angler and and you know all the right situations i, I didn't try to uh back boat him um but you know what it, it is what it is it was, a, it was a tough bite out there and uh you know the dock pattern just uh i ran as many as i possibly could so you know guys uh thanks for watching this video as always please like comment share subscribe y'all have a good one